chosen one, chosen one, chosen one. Tell your mama, tell your sister, tell your friend, tell your cousin. We are back with another one. Let's get straight into the video because I don't want to hold you no longer than I have to. Listen, baby, I'm coming to serve notice on the devil today. I'm coming to wreak havoc on your enemies and on your adversary. Listen, baby, their time is up in your life. It was fun while it lasted. But listen, baby, not anymore. We standing up, we being bold, we speaking our truth, and we not going to apologize for it. People have been throwing around this word humble for so long. But see, as chosen ones, we came out the womb with that humble stamped on our forehead. All these years, all this time, nobody has ever validated us. Nobody has ever validated your, your talents. Nobody has ever validated you. Nobody told you how beautiful you were, how smart you were, how intelligent you were, how you can do better and be better. Nobody ever validated you. Everything you learned, baby, you had to get it out the mud. Everything you learned, you had to learn it through experience. Nobody told you how to be you. Nobody told you how to overcome, how to be a conqueror. You learned all of that through God and through your experiences. And see, because nobody validated you, because nobody celebrates you, because nobody's in your corner, even though you overcome these things, you still have that small, still voice in your head that's telling you you can't do it. Telling you you're not good enough. Telling you that nobody loves you, that you're not pretty enough. Listen, baby, it's not your fault. This is a season now for us to start pouring back into us. For us to start loving on us. For you to start realizing who you are truly. God has made you. He has created you in his image. Created you in his image. No demon in hell can come against that. You are perfect in his eyesight. Listen, baby. All these things that has been spoken over your life that made you feel like you could not be the person that God has created you to be, it's a lie from the pits of hell. And I come to serve notice to the devil on today. Start celebrating you. Start speaking up for yourself. Start believing that you can do better and be better. Some of us don't even know how to speak life over ourselves and it's not your fault. Nobody has ever done that. Nobody has ever taught you how to do that. We always play it small. We always shrink. We always feel like we're doing too much. That's how the enemy want us to feel. Want us to feel like we're too small. Want us to feel like we're not good enough. That's a lie from the pits of hell, baby. God has created you in his image. You are the head and not the tail. You are a lender and not a borrower. And all things through him is possible. You are his chosen vessel. And even though man don't validate you, God does. God has qualified you for that position. God has qualified you to be a great parent. God has qualified you to come up out of that poverty. God has qualified you. Start exercising that. Start speaking life over yourself. This is a muscle that we never use as chosen ones. It's sometimes it's hard for us to speak life over ourselves. To believe that we are beautiful. To believe that we are great. And you are all of that. And some. It's not your fault though. It's not your fault that you don't know what love looks like. It's not your fault that you don't believe you can do better and be better. It's not your fault. This was instilled in you from a child. And even though you may have overcome some of these things, that voice is still playing like a broken record in your head. But we serve and notice today. It's done. It's over. It is over. Stand up. And what God has said about you. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. So take you and your quirky self and own it. Take you with your broken hearted and your broken pieces and let God mend it. 
He says, come to me, all ye who are burdened and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Listen, baby, God makes no mistakes. We're going to start exercising the fact that we are that. We are that it factor. And there's a difference between arrogant and being confident. Make no mistake about that. But people will tell you to be humble so quick. They'll never tell you to be great. Never. Time is up, baby. Time is up for the devil. Time is up for your adversary. Time is up for them small voices that's playing in your head. Time is up. You can do more. You can be more. You are coming up out of that poverty. You are coming up out of that sickness. You are coming up out of that broken relationship. You are coming up out of everything that was spoken over your life. You are coming up out of that. Believe it. Speak it. Do it. Act on it. The devil never wanted us to get to this place right here. He never wanted you to wake up. He never wanted you to believe in you. That's why nobody ever validated you. That's why nobody ever celebrates you. That's why nobody ever tell you that you're doing a great job. If they highlight that in your life some kind of way, they feel like it's dimming their light. Some kind of way they feel like they bowing down to you. Listen, these people work for the, king, the kingdom of darkness. So the moment they elevate you, the moment they celebrate you, they feel like they are bowing to you. They are bowing to the light that God has given you. They sick like that. And yeah, I said it. They are sick like that. The enemy don't play fair. So now you got to stand up and fight back. Now you got to start speaking. Now you got to start being bold. Show up for you. Nobody else ain't going to do it, so you got to do it. Nobody else is going to believe in you, so you have to believe in you. Nobody is going to break this generational curse, apparently, so you got to do it. And God has given you everything you need to do just that. Time is up for the devil. Time is up for your adversary. Time is up for the enemy. Time is up for that inner me. No more. Go and be great, baby. Go and own every single piece of you. When you step in the room, you own it. Your flaws and all, you own it. You are perfect in God's eyesight. You are his chosen vessel. Believe that. Operate in that. Own that. And until next time, y'all be easy. Peace.